Hey guys, welcome to Duplin Winery's Summer's Best Home Wine Tasting. That's right, we've got our five best summer wines just for you guys to try out tonight. So now if you never had our wines before, this is a great jumping off point because we've got a little bit of our dry whites, we got a sweet white here, we got some of our drier mid-sweet reds all the way up to some of our sweetest reds. It's just a great, great conglomerate of some of our best summer wines. And the other thing you're gonna get is you're gonna get a jar of our Muscadine Pineapple Habanero Salsa. Now, if you haven't made this dip yet, you gotta make the dip. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a whole jar of this, 16 ounces, pound of cream cheese. You're going to mix that up in a mixer. And it's going to make this great dip here. You can take our crackers that we sent to you also. These crackers we make here, they're an onion garlic flavored cracker. Dip those in there in between each taste of your wine. It's going to cleanse your palate and it's going to give you a great taste of that salsa. You're going to love this stuff. So we're going to get started pretty quick here. Um, what I want to start out with is our driest white. Now during the summer you want a nice crisp wine, right? And maybe you like something a little bit drier. So let's start out with this. This is our summertime strut. It's going to be a nice, fruity, crisp white, but it's not going to be really, really sweet. You're only looking at about a 0.3% sugar content in this. So if you're someone who likes something like a, uh, a Pinot Grigio or a Chardonnay, this is the wine for you. Now, if you like a buttery Chardonnay, you're not gonna get that here. You're gonna get more of a non-buttery Chardonnay in this, of that taste, but you're gonna smell those muscadines. If you ever grown up or been in the South around muscadines, it smells exactly like that. Oh, it's so sweet smell. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Hold that on your tongue for a second. You get that fruity taste without the sweetness of the muscadine. Now, the way we do that, this is a Carlos Muscadine grape. We're gonna pick these early on in the season. Our harvest season is in between about mid-August to about mid-September. We're gonna pick these a little bit earlier. So you don't have all the sugar in there as those get riper. So the less ripe they are, the less sugar you have in there, you can make a drier wine. If you'd like a dry wine, great. If not, use this, take a chicken breast, Marinate that overnight in this summertime strut. What it's gonna do, first of all, it's gonna make that chicken breast extra tender. And you're gonna get a little bit of that muscadine taste in there when you either grill it, pan fry it, maybe make fried chicken out of it, however you wanna prepare it. It's a great base for that. So try that out if you're not a fan of actually drinking dry wines. Now we're gonna go quite a bit sweeter. This is our white sangria. Now if you love sangria, I promise you, you're really gonna love this wine. This is a blend of all of our white wine grapes that we use. And we've added a little bit of lemon, lime, strawberry, we got a little bit of mango and peach in there. Now on the white sangria, to me, it brings out more of that peach mango taste. Now if you've had a red sangria, that one has more of a strawberry taste me to me, but you get a little bit of a peach taste in that. But this one really brings out that peach and mango. And the smell on it is, it's deliciousness. That's what you're smelling is deliciousness. I smell a little bit of that peach, a lot of that mango in that muscadine grape in there. Let's give it a taste though. Mango is the first thing I get in that. Give it a taste. Let me know what you think. Yeah, mango. I heard you. Yeah, you said mango too. Yeah. A couple of you said peach. All right. I get the peach too. That is an awesome wine. Now, if you want to add your own peaches and mango to that, what I do, I take a couple bottles of this, pour that in to a big container. You want to add a little bit of spritzer to it. Add some kind of spritzer to it. You can use, I've used um, just, you know, soda water. I've also used cream soda in there. A little bit of cream soda and that's a little bit good. But then you're going to add your mangoes and your peaches in there. And that'll give you even more of that mango peach taste. It's an awesome, awesome wine to have at a party. So if you're doing a party, you can make a big bowl of it. It's a great, great party drink. Now we're gonna switch over to our reds. We're gonna start out with a mid-sweet red, and this is called Pelican Red. Now your Pelican Red, this is a blend of two different grapes, 
two different types of grapes. This is a blend of our muscadine grapes, and we've got about two or three of our muscadine grapes in there. But we've also got a grape called the Pink Catawba grape. Now the Pink Catawba grape, it's a grape they're gonna use a lot in the upstate New York area, especially around the Finger Lakes. You'll find those in almost all the wines up there, all their red wines. But it's a very, very sweet grape, just like our muscadines. So those two blended together just makes for an awesome, awesome taste. Uh, the biggest difference is the fact that with your pink Catawba, you don't have that tart taste. With our muscadines, the skin on a muscadine is a little bit tart, so you get that in there a little bit. But with that pink Catawba, it mellows that out a little bit. Let's give this a taste. Cheers, guys. Mm. Yeah, you can definitely taste that pink Catawba in there. That's on the beginning. On the finish, you get that muscadine. If you ever had muscadines, the finish of that tastes just like a muscadine. I love the things. I grew up in North Carolina. We'd be walking through the woods. Looks like they're growing in the trees, but actually the vines are growing up in the trees and they use them as support. So it looks like you're pulling those grapes from the tree, but you're actually pulling them from the vine. It's a really, really cool thing. Uh, and they grow in the Southeast, just out in the wild anywhere. So if you're walking through the woods, look out for them. Here's our Carolina Red. This is our number two wine that we sell in the Duplin Winery and in the grocery stores. Just our number two wine all over. Now, Carolina Red and Black River Red, they kind of fluctuate. Sometimes the Black River Red will be number two, sometimes the Carolina Red. So, But our Hatter's Red is always number one. But between Carolina Red and our Black River Red, that, those are always our number two and number three wines. I've talked about Hatteras Red um, in other videos I've done, but the Carolina Red, it also reminds me of eating a muscadine right off the vine. But the biggest difference is with the Carolina Red, if you take that muscadine, that skin is so thick, you can actually pop the flesh and the seeds into your mouth. You get that juice, but you don't get the tartness of the skin. And that's what this one reminds me of. This one reminds me of eating it without the skin because you don't get quite that tart taste on the end. Let's give this a taste. Yeah, that's it, it, exactly what it reminds me of. Just that the grape itself without the skins, it's an awesome, awesome, cool wine to have. If you're going to drink this, get it as cold as you can on a hot summer day. After you mowed the lawn, if you've been in the house cleaning, whatever you do, this is a great wine to have as a reward to yourself for a hard day's work. But that's our Carolina Red. You can find that pretty much in any grocery store that we sell our wines. So if you're not anywhere near one of our wineries, either in Rose Hill, North Carolina, or North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, guarantee if we sell it, near you in a grocery store, you'll be able to find this Carolina Red. One of my favorites, easily one of my top five favorites. Now our last one that we're gonna to try today, this is called Sweet Rosé. Now we've got three, what we'll call sparkling wines. We've got one called Sweet Lily, which is our white sparkling. Then we've got Sweet Poppy, which is our red. This Sweet Rosé, it is a blend of those and it's a sparkling blush. This, out of the three of them, is probably my favorite. Uh, Sweet Poppy is my second. Sweet Lily is probably my third out of those sparkling wines. But the Sweet Rosé, what I like to do with that, I actually like to take a little bit of orange juice and make mimosas with that Sweet Rosé. It's going to be a, about a 7 to 8% sugar content. So it's not dry, but it's not quite as sweet as some of our other wines. And it's a blend of our white and our red muscadine wines. And we don't have the ability to actually put that effervescence in the wines here in Rose Hill. So we make this here. We send it up to Naples, New York. They add that effervescence. They bottle it for us. And it's one of our wines that you can take home with you. And you don't need a corkscrew. So that's really nice, too. So you can just take it home, unscrew the top, screw that top back on after you've poured yourself a glass. Cheers. Mm. I love those sparkling. You know why? Because you put them in your mouth. You feel those little bubbles on your tongue. And then you get that taste of that muscadine. That one to me has a little bit of a peach taste to it too. You get a little bit of a peach flavor on the finish of that. So if you like peaches, 
definitely check this one out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed your wine tasting with us today. This has been our summer's best home wine tasting. It's called Summer's Best because you know that you need the best, and that's what we sent you. Hope you had a great time. Remember the crackers and the dip. We'll see you next time. Come see us, though, in person. All right? See ya.